Hey, in this video I'm going to show you how to transfer files to a Windows 3.11 machine uh, from a Windows 95 machine, but this would work from pretty much any other machine as well that has Hyper Terminal or Putty or whatever it may be. Now, why you would want to do that is this Tecra, um, Toshiba Tecra, does, comes with an external floppy drive, but mine is actually broken. Uh, so, uh, I would like to get TCP stack working on my Windows 3.11 machine. And TCP stack in Windows 3.11 comes in as a separate EXE. Now, what I could do is I could try and pull out the hard drive from here and connect it to USB or some other contraption and transfer that way. And that works. That's kind of how I installed Windows. But at this stage, I'd like to use the native functionality uh, that Windows 3.11 has. So, in accessories, you have terminal. And obviously, in Windows 95, you have hyper terminal. Um, and these two can be connected via a no modem cable. So first things first, get a no modem cable uh, connected to the serial ports of your laptops uh, on each side. And then once that's done, um, you won't get any connection indication or anything like that, right? So just launch terminal and then what uh, you would want to set up the, the no modem connection set, uh, settings to be pretty much the same on both ends. So if we take a look at um, settings and then communication, um, set up the baud rate to 1920. You just want the speed, leave the data bits and the stop bits at default. Uh, the tech rate itself uses COM1 com as serial port and that's fine. Flow control leave a default as well. Um, and then click OK. So now this configures this terminal window to that setting. And then here, um, I've already pre-configured it, but I'll show you what you would want to do as well. In properties, you would want to um, just go directly to COM1, which is a serial port here as well. And you basically match the same settings uh, that you set up in the 311 workstation. So now, here if I type hi, uh, notice that that's, um, I think this focuses, yeah. Here you can see it showed up here. And here, let's say I hold the A button, uh, notice how it shows up here. So this indicates that we're now connected, right? So when I come, uh, so how do you send the file? You would come in here, click on send file, um, and then the file is actually on a diskette that um, I have. Um, that obviously wouldn't work with my Tecra because I don't have the floppy working. So now I would just pick the file here. Um, and. One thing to note is that you would probably want to do X modem transfer if you're transferring to um, uh, 3.11. I, didn't, I found that Z modem I couldn't, I couldn't get working on Windows 3.11. So let's do X modem here. And then over here, back to our 3.11 workstation, I would do transfer, receive binary file. I would just put it on the C drive and I'll call it TCP stack.exe. And if I do this, notice that it's starting to send. Uh, and that's how you send the uh, files over no modem. Now, there's also another way you could have done this. You could have done a direct modem to modem connection uh, by having a, a battery uh, in the middle to simulate voltage and then exclude um, like carrier detect. Uh, but I'll probably make a different video on that later on. Uh, so as you can see, um, this file is uh, about 600 kilobytes. Uh, our connection is actually, let's see, uh, it's about 10 kilobytes per second. So it's going to take 10 minutes actually to transfer 600 kilobytes, which is uh, just a testament on how far we've gotten, because 600 kilobytes nowadays is, is absolutely nothing. Um, now this could be because I also and doing it directly from the floppy. You can probably hear it chugging. Uh, but yeah, anyway, cheers.